My name is Dr. Ken Goldrick, and uh, previously, uh, or prior to coming to Chicago, I actually practiced in northeastern Wisconsin near Green Bay. Um, uh, blastomycosis is a fungal disease that's uh, something that dogs are sometimes rarely exposed to. In many areas of the United States, um, it's, it's something that we don't normally always come or come to think about when an animal comes in to be sick. Um, in the Midwest, however, it's one thing that should be on our list of possibilities whenever we see a dog for kind of a, uh, an odd disease that is almost not quite obvious, but something that we're not entirely sure about what the diagnosis is. Because the tricky thing about blastomycosis is that it can present in, and mimic other diseases that are very common. Everything from respiratory diseases through almost arthritic-like symptoms through even ocular disease. So we need to be very conscious about, you know, kind of understanding that there are many ways in which blasto can present itself. And the other thing that comes with blasto if we do finally reach a diagnosis of it is, is the, the steps that are involved in the treatment of it. Because animals can't talk to us and they, they can't tell us when they're not feeling well or, you know, oftentimes by the time we find this disease, it's, it's spread to many areas of the body. And of course, when much like something like cancer, it spreads to other areas of the body, the treatment becomes much more involved. There's a lot of monitoring involved to make sure that the patient doesn't respond poorly to any of the treatments that we're administering. And we want to make sure is that this disease isn't spreading to other new areas as well. The cases in which I have seen have been almost uh, uh, identical in the, in the fact that the dog has gotten to a point of being very, very sick by the time we actually find the disease. And unfortunately, many times, the, the patients don't always respond to treatment. And the ones that do, it is a very long road to recovery. Um, yeah, everything from simple things about even getting them to eat their dinner on a daily basis, through the normal activities that they are so important to their quality of life. Um, many of the antifungals that we use are very expensive drugs as well. Um, Follow-ups normally include lots of blood work re-x-raying lungs and other areas of the body that are the primary sites of infection, um, as well as even the, even the diagnostic testing is, is something to be concerned about because that's a fair investment as well. And you know, with, with most cases, like I said, it's a, a time arduous thing, a financially arduous thing, as well as emotionally as well.